Okay, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to randomly generate a bunch of new loops from loops that we already like, our existing loops in our library. So to do that, I have dragged in seven loops. You can pick as, as many as you want. I wouldn't go too far with this. Seven, in all fairness, may be overkill. A few, a few uh, less than this would probably be ideal, but this will give you an idea of what it's about anyway. And in every single one of these, I've turned on Legato, And I've created a follow action so that after one beat, i.e. quarter of a bar, it's going to select any other one. Now, any means it could select itself as well. Other means it has to be another clip. And what we're going to do is play this and just listen and watch and hear if there are any loops that feel a bit out of place here. So I'm thinking this one here doesn't sound great. So what we'll do is we'll literally go into the library. With this selected, we'll just drag any other loop onto it. As easy as that. Now this has got a kick in there, so I don't want that. So we'll swap that out. And this one sounds a bit difficult to work with, I think, as well. So let's put something else in there. Don't want that, it's got a kick in it. So remember, just always drag in into that bottom window. I think a lot of these look like they've got kicks and things in them. So let's go there, maybe. Much better. So we've got those all loaded up. Now it's simply a case of opening up a new audio track taking our audio from loop one, hitting record, and grabbing a bunch of this random stuff. That'll do nicely. And now we'll take this over onto our range page where it's easy to see what we're doing. Solo this and we can just flick through. Let's also open up uh, another audio track as sort of a place that we can capture these if you like. Looking for loops, I think, as in one bar, sorry, one bar loops. So I'd be pretty happy with that, if I'm honest, straight away. So I'll just alt copy that down. Let's move this along, see what happens if we start it from here. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Back into this one. Move it along. Again, absolutely fine by me. And you can see, you can just go through. Let's move it, see what happens when we get a bit further in. Again, absolutely perfect. Just grab that and take it down and straight away you're creating these loops. Now, if you want to add a bit more variety to them before you save them, simply double them out and you're just going to want to change the end up on these. So make a slice. Normally around halfway through will work well. And in this particular clip, we'll move our playback. So have a listen. And it's because I'm playing the wrong one. I thought it was going mad. Let's go. Solo it. There we go. So straight away, we've got a variation. Let's do that on this one. Slice it in the second half. Let's move this somewhere, oops, somewhere else entirely. Let's have a listen. And again, we can do that with this one.
Let's try it. Yeah, let's try a little bit of something funky. So that didn't work at all. Too funky by far. That's nice. And there we go. We've got a bunch of different loops. Command J to consolidate. There they are. Very easy now to show these in your browser just by clicking here in the sample. Rename that and drag it off wherever it may be on your library. And you're now going to have a whole bunch of loops that you can just listen through very, very quickly in the style of production that you like and all totally reinvented from stuff that you already own.